You're live here with Onga TV at Matthews Memorial Park Tikakino and out here at the moment we have the Onga Tiko side warming up before their game against Havelock North on their club day. Um, ground conditions are pretty tacky underfoot. There's been four games of junior rugby here this morning with the young fellas out and girls out there um, ha having a great time in, in between showers. Uh, being out there playing their s Saturday morning come afternoon rugby today for some of for them. Here's a good run up the centre by the Ongatiko boy. He's going to run right round the outside. Still going. He's taken down a pretty good tackle there. And Ongatiko must be very close to, to scoring up in the, in the club room with showers coming in from the east quite regularly. But hopefully we'll get through this afternoon without too many um, of those skiffs and we'll be able to keep filming on Onga TV. And they have a look at these young fellas out here now, just not helping the paddock at all, but having a great time. I don't know. But, and a good crowd building at this stage on a rather gloomy winter's day at Matthews Memorial Park, Tikakino. Today's game is against Havelock. Um, the two sides drew in their only match this season so far. But the uh, Havelock North side have been going pretty well in, in recent weeks. So it'll be a tough encounter out here today for the uh, for the boys in blue, the blue boars as they call them. The Tico boys out here warming up at the moment um, under the, the forwards here under the guidance of Rob Evans and Liam O'Dowd. Could well be a forward battle today. Um, further out there, we've got the backs um, running the ball out there with Exum. Exum Witchman, as, as the rain comes down even harder. Um, real grim conditions here, but it is winter and it is rugby season, and um, the boys get to play in some mud. Still a reasonable crowd turned out to um, witness what we hope is going to be a good game of rugby. Property broker's tent there in the in the background, uh, giving some spectators a bit more cover. And then along to the club rooms where the barbecues and uh, so forth are in full swing and have been uh, since the junior year rugby began. The boys from the village have travelled down today. Uh, I think their bus is in a fairly precarious position over there, just through the gateway. Um, as I say, uh, underground ground conditions are, are pretty tacky, and uh, but we do have a fairly powerful tractor over there that be able to hook onto it and pull it out uh, if there's any problem. I'm enjoying coming down. I've enjoyed coming down to come and watch the game. Yes. Always enjoy playing. Watching rugby. Yes. Um, have a, so my son used to pay in Facey's boys last year. So it's been, it's, it's been, I've been following him around since junior rugby. <laughs> well, good on you for making the trip down today, both of you, on a real gloomy <laughs> afternoon. So you, is your son playing here this afternoon? He's playing in, uh, what position he's will he be? Number 12 today. Number 12? Yeah, number yep. 12 today. Yeah. And Havelock have been going pretty well? Uh, so far. Yep. Um, I think we've seen the last, they played HRS last week. Um, yeah, we've some good games. Good. So, no, most enjoyable. So, yeah, yeah. Th thanks for the... <laughs> so, been enjoying coming out. Oh, um, no, that's good. And I'm sure the girls in the kitchen will look after you really well I'm later sure on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look to it. Always a good good spread over there. Oh, this is great. So, are there many of uh, Havelock supporters come down today? Oh, I'm not sure. I know they've got the bus down. Um, we've come down on our own vehicle. But, yeah, we have the... I think usually we have a few supporters dotted around the field. Oh, that, that's cool. I'm a little bit worried about their bus over there. That might. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might have got stuck. Yeah. It's not out yet. <laughs> oh, well. There's a few of us I'm sure we can push. <laughs> yeah. No, you may be called upon later on to do that. No, but hey, th thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and all the best. Yeah, you too. Yeah. <laughs>
it should be a good game of rugby. Good yes, game. yeah. Good on you. Thank you. Have a lot of support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Good on you. Yep. So thanks for coming all the way down and yeah. supporting your boys and making Ongatiko's Club Day a spectacle. Oh, awesome. Yeah. It's a shame yeah. about the weather, but hey, yeah. all the best for it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty wet back up in the bay. Oh, yeah, it's still yeah. raining there. Yeah. A little bit, but not, not as much as when we were coming here. No. It started to rain. If it stays like this, yeah. it'll be in for a... Yeah, it might yeah. be a bit of a forward slog out there, do you think? Yeah, 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 I think so. And also, they'll be kicking the ball a lot, I reckon. Yep. Yeah. That'd be yep. the main thing. Yeah, Kick I think... Ball. Remember the good old days of the hack along the ground? and Yeah, you know, yeah, the, yeah. yeah foot and, when I was playing, I used to do that a lot. Kick it off and then try and play soccer with it. Well, <laughs> well forwards did. Even, yeah. you know, like the props and that. There was yeah, that's quite good. a rumble up, up the paddock with... Ball at toe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah kick. No passing, just kick the yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but it'll be a leveller and we should be in for a good one. Oh, yeah. I'll yeah. enjoy it. It's Colts. So yep. Colts. it's going to be a good game. <laughs> Colts rugby, good rugby, yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks so much for that. Yeah, OK. Cheers. Take care. Good on you. <laughs> OK, we're only moments away from the uh, Ongatiko vs Havelock North game on Ongatiko's Club Day here at Memorial Park, Tikakino. And we're all but ready to go in this club day encounter between Havelock North Colts and Ongatiko Colts. The Blue Boars. It'll be Havelock to kick off. Bit of a hold up there at the moment. Not everyone's on the paddock from the Havelock side. Yes, yeah, no, I have lot, have lot looking pretty rugged. Um, we'll just get the kick off underway. Should be a leveller today, Tussock. Yeah. Yeah. Territory. Yeah, yeah. There's no secret. There we go. It's the first of what might be many. Yeah. There you go, you got it. Good ground made by Ongatika at the stage, but <laughs> fairly heavy tackles there. Yeah, come on, Reefy, one. I've got to be par impartial for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going down the blind side. Ongatika rumbling it up. And they've earned the penalty. With me here I have um, co-commentator today, David Tussock Kelly. Um, Tussock, good to see you up from the South Island. Oh, it's a pleasure to be de here, Dennis. And, you know, what a great scene. You know, the effort that's gone into today. Uh, the presentation of the club. I mean, it's the first time I've seen the club since it's been rebuilt. You know, I was here in 96, 97. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah, it would be your first time. So you can't wait to have a beer in there after this game. I won't um, keep you while you're watching this game, but I, w I want to talk to you at length yep, yep, no, uh, further down the track. So, Tussock, you were here in uh, 1995? You, no, 1996. 1996. Okay. Um, Fresh out of John McGlashan College. Yep, I was a 16-year-old South Islander, um, you know, starting my career in farming. Um, I joined the Central Country Districts Cricket Club, as it was known at that stage, and then uh, that was the summer taken care of, and then Ongatiko was, you know, the winter, um, and it was pretty much compulsory, and I'm, you know, some of the best, you know, really, uh, I've lost, sorry, I've lost my train of thought there. Um, you know, we were we actually played under 19s back in those days, um, and we had yourself and Dean Walters as our coach. I think uh, Derek Bibby might have been president, and Kevin Rao was our manager. Yep, yeah, correct, yeah. correct. Well done. Now here's a toe through from Havelock, 
and I'm not too sure what's happened there, but it was an intercept and Havelock have scored under the post. So typical of wet weather rugby. So yeah, Tussock, I well remember the day that you arrived at its Medley Station. I was chairman of the local cricket club at the time and you were also, while at John McGlashan College, you had, you had hit a massive 250-odd in a, in a one-day game. Yeah, well, I, you know, um, I come up here and, you know, sport was, you know, was important to me and, you know, what I really appreciated was how important sport was up here. You know, so it was easy, yep. easy to fit in, you know, and make, well, as it turned out, to be friends for life. Um, and had some of my best sporting days, you know, ever. In Central you know, Hawks Bay. Wow, well, and Onga, Onga and Tikakino. Yes. You know, I was able to um, play wet cricket, you know, and, and that proceeded on to playing, you know, first class cricket. And, and also played, you know, age group New Zealand cricket. So, and that all just started from... Ongatika, yeah. you know, this district. And out of Smedley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Such, such a neat story, that. And we had, um, you know, Greg Somerville was the same year as me, and he played for New Zealand under-19s while he was at Smedley. And then he kicked on, you know, and to become a crusader and, a, you know, a, a multi-test all-black, you know. I think he played 50 tests in the Exactly, end, yeah. You know, yeah. from yep. Ongatika. Yes. Park, you know? yeah. yeah. Greg was round, around in the black jersey for a very long time and, and also in the Crusaders jersey for a, for a long time. However, back to the game here at the moment, the Nongatika are making good headway after that um, little bit of a mistake there in midfield and, uh, and they've won a penalty about 15 metres, 14 metres inside the... Uh, have a lot territory. Ball's gone into touch. Twenty meters out. So Smedley Station was also great for you, uh, Tussock, as well. Oh, look, life changing. Um, you know, I was very lucky that you know Smedley started to accept people from outside the Hawkes Bay district. Which, you know, it used to have a sort of preference clause. For a, for a long time, it was only Hawke's Bay boys that were selected. And I, I believe you were the, the first, the am first, I correct? First South Islander. Um, I'm just talking to a, another guy, Alan Snell, here before. He was from sort of Ikadahuna, Tararua. Yes, I remember Alan. Uh, and then the Belsky brothers, they come over from the Manawatu. You know, they had family uh, roots here in Hawke's Bay, but they lived in the Manawatu. And, and then the Nets just... You know, cast wider and wider. Um, you know, there's a boy out there. I think one's from Tiania, um, another boy from Wyndham. When you know, down near Invercargill, two boys from you know North Canterbury. You know, making friends for life. Exactly. So that's three, three South Islanders up here. In, uh, in, no, I think there's um, there's two, three seniors, and four juniors from uh, down south. So maybe seven. That's great. That's yeah. great. And they're enjoying exactly what you enjoyed, um, not only with Smedley Station, but with the Ongatiko Rugby Club. And um, thinking back to, the, to, to your time with the Ongatiko Rugby Club, um, we had one hell of a strong team. And uh, it wasn't only good coaching, mm -hmm. but <laughs> some yeah. very, very good individuals. Uh, yeah. and, and they moulded into a very good team. Yeah, look, at the end of the day... Um, you can have a team of champions or a champion team, and we were. Um, and I think that's probably, you know, a big part of the Smedley is the team culture and knowing, you know, and today, Tico, like, they're a smaller team than these boys, but if they, you know, stick together uh, and are smart and um, they could have the legs on these guys, you know, in the second half if they're prepared to stick together, you know. Exactly, and that's um, been the nature of, of, of this team. You know, they have, well, well fitness will tell in the end. Um, and also remembering that a lot of these boys are probably two, three years younger than their, than their opposition. Yeah, well, my son James is only 18, you know. Um, playing in a Colts grade. Yeah, playing in a Colts grade. Um, so he's, he's cutting his teeth. Um, 
And I think the most exciting thing is that you sort of go to high school and, and people pump up first 15 rugby, but I actually, my rugby went up a gear and the intensity of the rugby went up a gear when I played for Tico. You know, like it's a really good standard of football. Yeah, tremendous. And I, I, I think I'll get, no, it's a five metre scrum. Uh, that season, 96, um, we went on to win the Hawks Bay wide, or well, Ongatiko went on to win the Hawks Bay wide competition through the, through the efforts of, of you guys, and we beat Hastings Rugby and Sports on McLean Park Napier by 31 points to nil. Yeah, well, um, I've seen a video of that, and um, you know I could have scored three tries in that final if Hamish Belsey had passed it to me. But anyway, that's history now. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure Hamish will be having a snigger about that one as well when he watches this on Onga TV. Yeah, yeah. But but it really f uh, finished off a, a hell of a good season, didn't it? And yeah. um, look, in your whole career, you know there'll be two. You're lucky if you'll have two teams that you know you'll you'll remember for the rest of your life. You know the camaraderie, the competitiveness. Um, and I was lucky. I had a championship-winning team with Onga Tiko, and then we also won the. Hawks Bay two-day competition with um, Central Hawks Bay Cricket Club, and they're two teams that I'll, I'll never forget. Exactly, yeah. The first time the premiers, CHB premiers, had won that Hawks Bay wide competition, yeah. that was a tr tremendous effort in itself as well. And that was um, 1998. I'm pretty sure. Yes, yeah. yes, you're right. Yeah. So Tusk, um, things have gone the full circle now, and you've got a son at Smedley and yeah. James. Yeah, well, you know, as a parent, we couldn't be happier um, to be in such a Positive, disciplined, and progressive environment. You know, where they're excited about our agriculture. Um, you know, they're, and then this is the other side of it, where they're part of the community. You know, joining in, meeting new people. Um, so we couldn't be happier as parents where our son is at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I know James is really well settled in up up there now. And and uh, you were treated to a luncheon earlier on today, the Smedley boys. Yeah, um, and. You know, again, it's just a sign of the club and the station working together. You know, I mean, I can't really differentiate Smedley from Ogatiko. You know, to me, it was one and the same. You know, and there's a lot of parents here, like a lot of them have travelled up from the deep south, brought their families up, got grandparents, children, and we're all, you know, we all share something in common, and that and that's Smedley and Ogatiko. Yeah, I think there's no doubt about it. Um, the Ogatiko Rugby Club and Smedley Station complement one another really well. And, and it's it's been proved year after year. So Tussock, look, I know you've got a lot of catching up to do on the other side, and, and a few um, over a few beers, and you want to watch your son play rugby. Yeah. So <laughs> hey, look, thanks so much for giving us your time, and uh, really look forward it. to watching it on Onga TV. Oh, thank you. Good on you. Good on you, Dean. Hey. <laughs> So things have settled down a little bit out in the middle now. Condition, conditions aren't too bad out there, Tussock, I, I reckon. Oh, uh, underfoot. You know, it takes a, I mean, it's, it just typifies how much rain we've had because I never played on this ground muddy. No, yeah. no. Admittedly, yeah. it's had four games of rugby this yeah. morning. Yeah, yeah. And never, ever got muddy. No, yeah. no. I'm probably much like you when I played there. I don't remember too many games uh, where it was muddy is the other old kick and chase again but it's been well picked up and we've got a charge down recovered by, recovered by Ongatiko inside their 22 a long pass and that's a good left boot downfield that's a hasn't found touch but they're going to burrow in there Ongatiko and they may have turned this one over. No, it's come out on the Havelock side. But good tackle up there. He needs support, that tackler. Havelock have it. Does appear to be a little bit slippery out there, but the Ongatiko boys are up in their face. And that's the key. They just can't give these guys space. No. No, you're right there. They've, they've got to be up... Uh, And then at this stage, though, certainly not. They're competing really well. It's just the odd error. 
And that's going to be the uh, story of the game. Dropped passes, slippery ball, and then kicked away downfield. Uh, Havelock have won a scrum there. Midway, 10 metre and halfway line. It's still a special place. You know, at the end of the day, it's, it's the people inside the walls, you know, which make a club, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Oh, look, there was many a great time had in those old club rooms, um, no doubt about that. Out along the uh, Havelock back line. It's good tackling in there. No, and the penalty's gone the other way for going in over top. 10 metres, come on. A little bit of ill discipline there by the, the Blue Bulls. Yeah, no. I'd be. <laughs> Good on you, Tussock. We'll catch you later. Have a look, take it away. Can you hear that, Ian? Return downfield. Oh, got one. Yeah. Yeah, it could well get heavy. Here it comes, a oh, good little kick through here by the Havelock players and this is one on one and this is going to be a good try. Lost that ball forward. Just had to take that ball and he was in for, for all money. Ongatiko ball and it goes. Yeah, it's taken up hard. That's a good hit up there and good good work. That's a good clearance. Get a good view of this line out and it goes. Not taken cleanly by either. It comes down on the Havelock side. Havelock clear it away. Big boys there running it up. Number 19. Back on the Havelock side. And it's kicked through again. Try and take the line out and rumble it up. And it goes. One by Havelock. Coming back on the Havelock side now. Number eight takes it up. He's a big boy. This Five metres out. There's a bit of pressure from the Tigo boys was out now along the Havelock back line. It's a good run by the centre. Second five. Takes it up the middle. of Tigo win the penalty. Clearance takes it out. And it goes... Doesn't look straight. It's down the Havelock side, so it's carrot play on. Unfortunately, there's a head high tackle. Not not intended, but just slipping up. Crucial time. Havelock kicks into the corner. And it's gone too far. And Ongatiko have forced down. With a long kick downfield into the Havelock half. Taken by the second five again. He looks a good runner, this boy. Takes it up. Ball's come back on the Havelock side. Fullback's got it now, taking it up. Good run by the fullback, come back on the Havelock side. Out along the back line. Still making headway, Havelock. Brings it back. Sort of stacks on the middle there at the moment. Advantage Havelock. It's cleared into touch. Line out for a bit of a lottery in these conditions. And it goes. There's a free kick. Not sure what that was for. Taken quickly by Havelock out along the back line. Alex to. Run it up. There's a kick through again. Beautifully picked up. 
Beautifully picked up by the Ongatiko here. Good break out. Needs support. They're holding him up. He's gone to the ground now. Coming back on the Ongatiko side. Taken up Ongatiko. Fullbacks down. There's a long kick downfield. It's gone to hand. Good running. Second five at the fullbacks. Drops but regains the ball, takes it up. Caught in the muddy patch there. Got the arm out, advantage on Gatico. On Gatico running it now. Still on advantage. All down the far side they go, they lose the ball forward, but the advantage is called over. Uh, things have got a little bit out of hand over there on the far side. Chilly shower comes in over the... Uh, and it goes. Good scrum on the ticko. Comes out along the back line. Uh, to pick up some of those numbers out there now, but being taken up by Onga Tiko, driving in over the top. Running up. Uh, very hard, but way up offside. Onga Tiko take it quickly. Hardly back 10 metres, but play on, says the ref. Back out along. Rumbling it up again now. Just limited numbers out here in the Ongatigo back line, but he's taken it up the middle. Advantage on Gatico. Kelly fires it out there. Coming back. On Gatico have it and they're going down the far side there. Comes back this, this way. Getting hard to pick up players out in the middle there now. That's, they're getting close to the uh, Havelock North line. Rumble it up again. Only a couple of metres out from the line now. And over. Here we go. Coming back on the Ogatico side, lost there. Oh, there's an intercept, but up offside. Ongatico ball, and it goes. They're getting shoved off it, but it comes back to the out along the back line. It just short of the line. Ongatico have it. Balls all over the place. Onga to go pushing, asking the question. Just got to hold on to this slippery bit of leather. Taken up again. Lost ground. About 10 metres out down the side and it out into touch. We lose possession. We have lock ball. I'm really interested to see how they're going to get that bus out at the end of the game. Here it goes and Onga Tiko goes over the back of the line out and comes back to the Onga Tiko boys. Only only a metre out from the goal line now. Coming back slowly. And Ongatiko have scored. They've they've got the try. Here he comes in. 
he kicks, he's struck it reasonably well, but it's gone across the front of the post. About 25 minutes into the first half. Have a lot with the restart. Here it goes deep into the Ongatiko territory. Here comes a long, long kick. Good chases. Fullbacks cleared it and returns with interest. Well taken. You want to play it up in that area. A good run there by the fullback out along the, the back line now. Yeah, Havelock have won the penalty. In it goes, won by Havelock. Good scrum on to go to screwed it out along the Havelock back line. There's a good kick. Downfield take, not out though. They've uh, locked up there and they've taken him down, coming back on the Ongatiko side. Rumbled up the middle, that's a good gain from Ongatiko. Won't need the long kick downfield, but they're going to run it up. It's looking dangerous, that tackle. And rightly so. I see conditions here now. And there's a good clearance right down to the halfway mark. And it goes. On get ticket. No, it's one by Havelock, run through by the halfback. Good gain, and there goes on. The ball was out, and well, well played, on Tico. Taken up again by the on forwards. Here we go. Oh, it's so slippery out there at the moment, and it's not going to get any better. And it goes, taken off the back of the scrum, and there's another good run by the number eight. But in Ongatiko, have it. There's a good contest out there in the middle at the moment, and in uh, amongst the forwards. There's another good gain, four or five metres. Uh, unfortunately, there's going to be a few of these penalties. They're just conditions that uh, lend itself to uh, that sort of penalty. Hard to stop yourself going over the top. You come have rock and they've kicked it. It hadn't gone out. Oh, and un unfortunately, Ongatiko can't pick it up. He's not releasing. He's not... Not released. And it goes well won, quickly won by pass goes astray, but it's carried on by Havelock. He's lost it again. Lost forward there by that Havelock player. Havelock a no knock on advantage. And it's hacked away downfield by Ongatiko. The scramble for the ball on the Havelock North 22, and it's been kicked downfield. And in, in, in the heat, um, Havelock had taken it up. I thought that pass went forward, but yes, it did. And it's been lost forward by Ongatiko. Some hardy spectators on the far side. It's still a good turn out. Havelock won the ball. Now it comes. Here's a kick downfield into open spaces. Fullback's back there. Picks it up beautifully. Beat, beats one. Taken. And it's cleared. In goes the ball to the line out. Not taken clean even on the Ongatiko side. Driving up the middle of the field. Pushed back by the Havelock forward pack. And here's another kick, kick downfield to the wing and, and, and he loses it forward. 
and the ball's gone out in conditions, making it very treacherous here at the, at the moment as far as ball handling goes. And it goes, back it comes on the Onga to go side. There was a good scrum. Good hands out through the backs. Beats one, beats another. Feeds it on. Just taken down on the far side and lost forward. And it goes, back it comes on the Havelock side. Good run up the middle here by the five Havelock taking it on up the middle. I'm going to take a bit of be careful here. They're coming around offside. Getting bloody hard to determine who's who in there at the moment, but it's come back on the Havelock side. Big, this big boy's rumbling it up the middle, but they brought him down. Comes back again on the Havelock side. It's, it's a, if the pass goes to hand, that's a good tackle by the winger there. Brought down on a hard tackle. Coming back again on the Havelock side. They tried to rumble it up. Ongatiko holding it up at the moment. And Ongatiko, the Blue Boars win the penalty. And there it is, we have half time in this club day game of rugby here this afternoon. Both teams uh, do really well. They, yep. They're um, holding the ball. That's the main thing. Yeah. yeah. And really hard in these conditions to keep, yeah. keep your composure. Oh, yeah, because, you that's know, good. it's frustrating to be <laughs> yeah, playing in these conditions, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, especially if the ball's wet and you can't hold it. And as we said before, um, kicking game yeah. will happen. Yeah. And but I'm a lot of times they pass it. Yeah, yeah. They're looking to want to pass it, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then yeah. just losing it forward yeah, and, yeah. and not afraid to run and yeah. No. Yeah, they like, um both teams uh, lick and lick. Yeah. yeah Five all at this time and yeah. um yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah. It's sort of like nil and nil. So starting yeah. off the game again. That's right. Yeah. Well but hopefully we'll, the ref will sort of get things underway pretty smartly again and uh because it is getting a little bit cooler at that yeah, way yeah, it, it comes he's, um, he's not stopping starting. No, no, no. no. We, just, and you don't want that. Yeah, he's no. just letting the flow. Yep. If he thinks it's going to, but then he'll pull him back. And, yep. Yeah, do the like, do knock on. Or, yeah. yeah. No, you're good. Thanks very much yeah. for your half-time comments. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. God, yeah. Cheers. I'm going to take over to kick off. Kicking towards the club room side of the ground. Here we go, a long kick down. It's taken by the Havelock, they bring it out. And they set it for probably, a, no, they're gonna bring it up, they're gonna run it up. Here goes the kick out towards the scoreboard side of the ground, taken beautifully by the Havelock winger. But the Ongatiko boys are up there and they have him and they're holding the ball up. But he's got it back on the Havelock side. And running on the cut, half back. But well tackled. He's held up there at the moment. Ongatiko threw on the ball and they've. The Havelock still have the ball. And Havelock have won the penalty. Here we go. And it goes. Long throw to the middle of the line out. Taken down well by uh, Havelock. Good hands out through the backs. Havelock still have it on their side. Coming back now. Short pass, rumbled up there. That's going to be the nature of the game, I would imagine. Rumbling it up again. 
defended by Ongatiko. And over the top. Havelock bring it away. Taken down. And we have a kick through along the ground and that's going to be a good gain for Havelock. But it hasn't gone out and picked up by Ongatiko. He needs support back there. Comes back long pass and kicked away down to the ground, down the ground and still in play. Oh, well taken at the back there by the Ongatiko player and he tried to bring it out. He's going to need support. Just a bit slow to get back there and help. The Ongatiko have it. And Havelock way up offside and penalty advantage coming on Gatico's way. But here it goes out towards the club rooms. And it goes thrown to the back, didn't look straight and it's called that. It'll be a scrum Havelock ball. Good scrum on Gatico, but Havelock have it in the back around there. And Taken, Ongatiko have the ball, taken out over the touchline there, and they, Ongatiko won the penalty. Good, good gain downfield, right up to the 22 metre line. And it goes, free kick Ongatiko. Tried just rushing that and he's knocked it on. And it goes. Good scrum on Gatico. Good scrum on Gatico, but Havelock have it. They bring it out now and there's a partly charged down there. On Gatico bring it up. Didn't tackle there, but they on Gatico still have the ball. Good hands there. And this is good hands. On Gatico tug it away and they coming close here, but Belled in. And it goes. Good scrum down the blind side. And he's just short of the line as a halfback. There's a mad scramble there in the corner. Coming back on the Ongatiko side. And only a metre out. Ongatiko have won the penalty advantage. Right on the line there, but penalty on Gatico, offside Havelock, here we go again. On Gatico ball, and it goes, halfback's got it, he goes up the side again, brings it back on the open. And what have we here? This Going for his pocket, looks like a yellow card coming up, unfortunately. Not going to be very warm in the naughty boy's chair in these conditions, that's for sure. Ongatiko ball, and it goes. Coming wide, he runs it up, Ongatiko. Only just short of the line. Ongatiko ball and they've scored. Good try there, Ongatiko. Well deserved. They've asked the question in this corner for a little while now. Here he goes, he strikes it and it's down the middle. That's a good kick. And Ongatiko go ahead by 12 points to 5. That's the rain comes down even heavier here at Matthews Memorial Park in Tikakino. This club formed when the Onga and Tiko clubs amalgamated in 1955. Brought up by Onga Tiko. The Blue Boars are coming back at them again. Bringing it up the park. This is good rugby by the Blue Boars. Although you wouldn't call them blue balls out there at the moment, they're more like mudlarks. 
Number eight has it off the back out towards the short side. Here it comes, here's the kick downfield, but it's been charged down, and this is the danger of kicking low. Ongatiko have the ball again, and they're having to rumble it. It was a good run up the middle. By who, I don't know. There's a long kick downfield. Not out. And past infield. He's got to hold on to him. And he does. And there's a melee now in the middle of the Havelock North 10 metre mark. Uh, who has it? When I, it comes back on the Havelock side and it out. And over the top. Havelock have it. And we have a knock on by Ongatiko. And it goes hook by Havelock. Taken off the back of the scrum, but a good tackle by the Ongatiko. Number six. And Havelock have lost it forward. Ongatiko ball to the scrum. Had a live wire again, the halfback for Ongatiko. Threatening all the time. And it goes well won. It's taken off the back of the scrum. He's unfortunately out on the full. And it goes not straight. But a free kick call for Havelock. I don't know what that was for. It says it's tap and go. Havelock run it out. Beats one tackle, but not the next. Havelock still have it, and there's the kick into the gap. Taken by Ongatiko, and he's a good reply down it, but that breeze is quite soon. It holds up in the breeze. Taken by Havelock, runs it back with pace. Good front on tackle there by the Ongatiko boys. But coming back on the Ongatiko side, that's been well won. It's Havelock boys up offside again. Referee playing penalty advantage. I'm going to take our subs warming up here on the sideline. Straight to the big number eight. That wasn't planned and that wasn't a, wasn't a good plan at all. And Havelock have it, Ongatiko holding on. That's unfortunate. But the, those are 12 points to five, Ongatiko lead. They'll want to get into the game early to warm up. And it goes back on the Ongatiko side of the line out. It's held in the back, back to Kelly. He punts it away downfield, there'll be a quick Quick throw here. And there's, there's a kick over the top. Call for a mark, but he was outside the 22. We have a knock on by the Havelock North side. Well done, boys. Good on you. you. Good scrum by the Ongatiko guys. Driven up. Oh, chip over the top, but it's holding up in that breeze all the time. But there's good chasing from the winger over there, and he pulls his opposite down. And Ongatiko are pushing in over that ball, and they've won the penalty. Here's Kelly. And it goes the line out, not straight. Getting blown down the wrong side of the corridor. 
these are horrendous conditions at the moment. Uh, good, scr good scrum there by Onga to go. Pushing Havelock off that ball. And it goes. Havelock have it at the back of the scrum. Out it comes along the back line. And the ball runs it up. And that's a, that's a good tackle by Kelly up there, taking it front on. Very well done. Back to Kelly. And there's a long kick. That's a good kick. It's not going to find touch, but it's gained some good ground. Havelock bring it back. But Ongatiko up there in defence. And that's a good gain for the Ongatiko boys. And they've won the scrum. Knock on there, Havelock North. Ongatiko ball to the scrum. And it goes. They've got it at the back of the scrum. Off goes the number eight. He's struggling to find his footing. They bring it out. It's at the back of the scrum there. Have a look north up very flat. Very lucky to get away with that. Here at bring it up again. Hard uh, and over the top. This is good work. Kelly in at half back there. We're on the back foot now, Ongatiko. And Havelock have won the penalty. Ongatiko in over the top. And, it, and it, take it up, the big Havelock number eight. And they've got it at the back. Rumbling it up again, up the middle what it's going to be. And this time it's out along the back. It's a long pass, but good defence on Gatiko. And it, going back for a penalty, Havelock, Havelock North. It's the rain thumps down here at the moment. It's, it's really coming down in bucket loads. And it's cold. It's just driving in from the nor'east almost now. Havelock bring it up. And there's, a, I think we have a head high tackle there. Referee's got his arm out for penalty advantage. There it goes, Havelock. It's tap and go over way over there in the dark on the far side, and they've lost it forward. Knock on Havelock North. Big bus down the bottom end of the field will have some fun getting out of here, I'm sure, and so might I. And it goes over there on the Ongatiko ball. Now they're trying to run it out and it's lost forward. This is going to be a regular occurrence, or has been a regular occurrence of this game, but it's going to get worse. It's the rain buckets down. Oh. Uh, penalty, Havelock North. Offside, on to go. They're going to tap and go. There it is, the big boy takes it up again, runs over top of one on to go player. Not far out from the line now, they're right under the post. And Havelock are in. Havelock North are in, right beside the post. This could be the leveller. Everyone was hoping that we would get through with um, little or no rain. And the kick has hit the upright and it's back, it's back in the field of play. But Ongatika have been a judge to have charged early. In the context of the game, that's pretty <laughs> Pretty important. There's the kick and it's down the middle this time and it's 12 points to all. Here we go. The long flat kick and it's gone deep into the 22 of the Havelock. And they'll bring it out and there's a long kick downfield and such as such as the wind that is assisting these kicks. Kelly's back there and he 
puts it high in the air, but it's holding up in the breeze and it bounces. Kelly's up there, makes the tackle. He's had a good game since he's come on. It's Kelly. Havelock have won the penalty and over the top. They kick back downfield and that's a good gain for Havelock. And just a lone brolly on the grandstand over there and it goes Havelock have won it and they drive up the field and they're still going. They've won the ball and they're bringing it out along the back line. Just pass has been dropped. I really wonder why they're trying to run it so with these long passes in these conditions. Yeah, well played, mate. Good on you. And it goes, comes back. There's a lot. There's a good, good gain. There's an ex excellent kick. And, and, oh, well done by the Havelock player, and he's kicked back downfield into no man's land. One lone Ongatiko player running back there on his own, and he gets it into touch. Havelock North throw. And it goes to light out. Taken in the front but lost forward. He's scrum. Ongatiko ball. Ongatiko is struggling to get it back at the, that they do now. And Kelly's got the ball and he boots downfield. It's been ch chased hard here by Ongatiko and it's towed up but it's gone out. The rain's still bucketing down here at Matthews Memorial Park, Tikakino. New halfback on the paddock for Ongatiko. He's secured possession. Now along the back line it comes to number eight, runs it up. He's made good ground all day, but not this time. He's driven back, but Ongatiko have the ball. Long pass. Another long pass, but he's up quickly. And there's a good chance for the new winger. And the, the Glock takes it up the paddock now, and Ongatiko getting into the fray of things here. They can quick run ball out along the back line again, but have Lock have regathered, and they're out there as well. There's a melee in the middle of the paddock, and Ongatiko have the penalty. And a chance to go ahead here. A chance to take it out to 15 points to 12. Young Kelly, who's not long come on. Here he goes, right footed. And he's kicked it through the middle. And Ongatiko go into the lead again by 15 points to 3. I'm well taken by that Ongatiko player. He runs it up into the mud patch there. And it comes back on the Ongatiko side and Kelly will hack it away downfield, but just not timing things. But they're defending. And it goes. It's come back on the Ongatiko side. One by their number eight. Don't really know what's going on in there at the moment. It's, it's come back on the Havelock side. And Havelock rumble it up towards the goal line. And they've won, they've won the penalty. And here they go. They take it up, driving it up towards the goal post. And the Ongatiko boys are offside. Here it goes quickly again. And it's taken up by the big boy, and he's just short of the goal line. He's not far out now. It rumbled up again. They're claiming the try, but it's been held up. Kelly with the goal line drop out. There it goes. It's been held up in the breeze again. And Havelock take it up hard. There's a good tackle out in the, by that number eight who's had a sterling game today. And it's a... Penalty, Havelock again, and Havelock take it up. Ongatika will be lucky to be back 10 metres again. But it's still been taken, but they've lost it forward. And, it's, and Kelly kicks downfield, and that's a pretty good touch finder into this. Getting towards the end of the game now, and Havelock have won it. 
Out along the back line, they bring it up hard, they're running hard, but they're well tackled by Onkatake. Driving up the middle, I have lock. Along the ground it goes, and the Havelock have broken right through but knocked on again. These are very difficult conditions out there now. A little bit surprised that they've tried to run it as often as they have, but they've had the confidence to do so. But, but, but occasionally it coming to, to grief. Kelly takes it up, he's caught though out in, in, the, in this 22. Long pass. There's a good kick downfield now. Being chased hard by the Ongatuko players. And the, yeah. Oh, he's gone ref. And he's. Yeah, holding on and Ongatuko in and claiming the pull. That was good work. Injury here. Kick downfield by Kelly. Good way. Get a good view of this line out. I'm going to go. Well, it's a bit of a lottery there, but have like a come away with it. Being held up there by Ongatago. And the boys are doing really well. He's come back on the Ongatago side. He's in over the top. Have lock, bring it out. Bringing it up, there's a, there's a lot of want in there at the moment. And it looks like it could be a yellow card coming here. And Onga Tiko is going to lose their hooker, I think. And there it goes. He's put it out. And it goes. Out it comes along the Havelock back line. He's run, running up. Taking it out wide. Crashing it up the middle. Closer towards the younger to go line. Here they go up the middle, take it out again. Fortunately, poor Onga Tiko. Havelock have knocked that ball on. Not nice at any time, but when you've got a day like today. And Onga Tiko have won the penalty. They're a bit cock a hoop at the moment, but the game's not over. They've got to go make good use of this penalty. That's the end of the game. Onga took 15. Havelock 12. And they seem pretty happy about that result. The Onga took boys. Fifteen points to twelve on Club Day here at Matthews Memorial Park. It's been a real battle. But they've come out on top. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was uh, yeah. just a good old fashioned Yeah, it was. It was a slog. It's, uh, yeah. Did well, so, yeah. Uh, you can see the, you know, the pressure, you know, at the end there when they won it. it yeah, was, yeah. Yeah, um, no, no, there was there was great relief. Yeah. That, that's for sure. No, yeah. the boys wanted it, yeah. and uh, but but both sides played particularly oh, well in I bloody so. trying oh, conditions. Yeah, that yeah. was a real tight game, yeah. and, and uh, it was anyone to the end. Really, it, it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and, no, it was a really good game. So. If anything, the boys um, defended pretty well, yeah. and uh, yeah. Yeah. just you know, ball in hand. I think in these conditions, and if you the more you try and push it, the more mistakes. Yeah, are going we to see come. that first first try for them. You know, yeah, uh, yeah. You know that long pass. Yeah, by that's right. Wet conditions. It's not. Yeah. It's not it's a no no. Really, <laughs> short passes but, keep it in hand and then go. But such as Colts rugby, they yeah. want to do. They want to um, <laughs> throw it round. And, yeah. 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 No. No. It was really good. No. It was a 
it was a deserving win for the boys. Yeah. And, and uh, bloody wrapped. Yeah. Uh, and I think the coaches were quite relieved from that last kick went out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I still thought we had a little bit of time to go. I didn't. Um, yeah, I, I looked yeah, at the clock yeah, just yeah, before the penalty. Yeah. It was three tw- uh, 3.32, and yep. I thought, well, it's, it's pretty close. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can yeah. always score, but I, I, I forgot to start it, so... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Like no. Good, so, no, it was really good. Good result. Yeah, this good young result. fellow's not too badly hurt. Uh, just ribs. ribs. Yeah, 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 ribs. yeah. yeah. So, oh, uh, poor bugger. Yeah. Kirky, Dennis yeah. here. Oh, hey, look, Kirky, thanks so much for joining us. That's right. How about that for a victory? Oh, look, it's club day. All the supporters come out. Um, get behind us. They're in their um, the head. Day in, Just day out. Yeah, yeah. They're here day in, day out. So yeah. Um, yeah, today's win was for us, but more for them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Without yeah. them, you know, we, we wouldn't really be a team. So yeah, you could you could really see it at the end of the game. You guys were elated to have pulled that victory off. Hey. Oh look, the boys the boys left it all on the field. Yeah. I mean, well, what left, what's left of the field anyway? Yeah. yeah. Um, and pretty testing conditions. Yeah. Um, you know, we struggled to sort of get hands on the ball with just how wet it was. But um, no, nah, I'm proud of the boys. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can build from this and keep it going for the season. Yeah, for sure, Kirky. You know, I mean, you've got to be proud of your defence because uh, in these conditions today you were asked on lots of occasions to make the tackle when you, and you guys did. And, um, you, you know, you come up troubles. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, like I said, um, it was a game, real tight game of pick and goes and, and forward carrying. So um, you pick up to the boys there. Yep. Won us the game down there, so you can't ask for more than that, really. No, that's for sure. And what were you thinking when James lined up uh, that, oh, that penalty? Oh, I was just hoping he was going to slide it, eh? Because, yeah. yeah, I mean, it was neck and neck there. So yeah. that, that helped us get us over the line. Yeah, and, and you know, not, not easy. Any kick in these conditions, that you've only got to be off cue a little bit and she's all, she's over, over. Oh, big ups to yeah. him, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, no. um, without him... Him getting that kick, yeah, yeah, like I said, it would have been a, yeah. a pretty close, close match. So how are you feeling now, Kirky? K- K- at the moment, are you, are you, are you cooling down? Because yeah, uh, I am cooling down. Actually, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm ready for a hot shower. Yeah, and, idea, um, yeah we'll go, go have a few tins, I suppose. Yeah. And, you know, we've got breaks and shift, shift tomorrow, so yeah, just back to work as back usual. Back to work tomorrow. Mm. Hey, Kirky, look, congratulations, awesome. all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Cheers for your Good time. on Thank you, mate. You Cheers. Yeah.